In order for humankind to advance further into space, we're going to need to rely on the resources that are out there. One of those key resources is water. Water is not only a consumable for humans, but it can also be used as rocket propellants to allow missions the option to refuel in system or space. This can drastically alter the shape of mission capabilities in architecture. As NASA looks to return to the moon and establish a human presence there, we will have to extract the water ice present on the lunar poles to support such an endeavor. To achieve this goal, our joint team of Lunar Outpost and the Colorado School of Mines will design and build the Outpost Digger system. Our system architecture will consist of two identical rovers, each equipped with an impact hammer for breaking regolith and a bucket scoop for collecting and hauling the regolith to the delivery site. The system will also have ground support equipment that includes a contact charging station, a communications tower, and spare parts. Our goal is to have the lowest landed mass and to consume the least amount of energy while still meeting the requirement of delivering 12 metric tons of regolith in under 15 days. This is America's finest right here. Lunar Outpost is developing the Erebus Rover chassis for the Outpost Digger system. This chassis draws on heritage from our line of mobile autonomous prospecting platform rovers, which we are demonstrating on the moon at Shackleton Connecting Ridge in 2023 and at Reiner Gamma in 2024. We're taking our other heritage technologies and operational experience from MOXIE and the Perseverance rover and our larger excavation technologies to further advance this system so it's the most capable and realistic vehicle in the Break the Ice Challenge. The realization of the unlimited abundance and the value of resources from space was evident at the very start of the space age. At Mines is at the center of this new approach towards the space, at the, at the center for space resources. The School of Mines created our Space Resources Program which is intended to create an educational program for graduate students to teach how to use resources of space. What we have put together is the very first program in the world uh, looking at educating scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, economists, and policymakers in the developing field of space resources. The Colorado School of Mines team consists of students, faculty, and alumni with years of experience in both industry and academia. MINES is responsible for the excavation subsystems, systems engineering, and the durability demonstration of the Outpost Digger system. I, I really cannot think of any other institution that uh, is more capable and, and better prepared to be at the center of the space resources revolution. What can be more interesting, more inspiring, more exciting, more appropriate for a forward-looking university such as MINES than to be involved in the next frontier, space.